and artist books who will be talking to us about his latest project as well as all that he's been doing uh, behind the scenes in the world of music. Welcome to Morning Live. It's great to have you. Thank you for having me. Appreciate it. I mean, books, let's talk about this. You've been a prolific uh, producer behind Kulichana's Stock Stickum and No More Hunger. Theo Josinque is thinking about you featuring Zonke. Yeah. You've done so much for other artists, but yeah. uh, let us know how that is now working now that you are also a performing artist. Um, you know, I've been producing for quite a long time. I think, you know, I was lucky enough to get a break um, quite early on in my career, which was nice. Um, it's now just a transition period in terms of me becoming, you know, forefront, becoming an artist. It's something that I've wanted to do for quite a long period of time um, in making this album. So, you know, I got some nice exposure, nice experience through the production and learning from different artists. So now it's kind of my time to, you know, be in the forefront, do my own thing. And I've been kind of conceptualizing it for a long time. And I'm, you know, finally happy that the music is out and people get to know me in a different, you know, in a different light. And I want so, to speak about that creatively. Yeah. Who exactly is Books? What is your sound? What is the messaging behind your music? And uh, what defines you as an artist? Um, I think I'm, I'm inspired by many different things. I think people who know me um, from the production side no, you know, no two songs kind of sound alike, you know what I mean? Because I'm inspired by different types of music, so, and that's kind of always how my mind has worked. So I think for me, you know, the album is, is, a, is a nice kind of a description of my identity. You know, it takes you through the journey of, you know, my music. When I started listening to music when I was young, you get that taste, you know, sort of in my music from, from you know, the first track going track by track. So it's sort of like um, a timeline of sort of my inspirations. Through and it's a mixed my music. bag of exactly, you know, different exactly. styles. And, and you know, I rap, I sing, I write all my music, I produce all my music. So I think it was important for me to do that on my first album. Um, it's a, it's I don't know, I think it's, it's a tough position to put yourself in as an artist to do everything holistically. I'm not sure if I'll, if I'll be able to do that again, but I think it was important for me to do that on my debut album just to show people sort of the range of the, of the artists and the artistry that I wanted and to do. And let's perform. speak about that debut album. I mean, it's so exciting. You laid more than 60 tracks in the build-up to yes, yeah, uh, this yeah. album. Yeah. How did you then sort of cut down everything and sort of curate the album? And yeah. also, I know this is a loaded question, but what else is on the card? For e um, just to answer the first question, I think just to whittle down sort of 60 songs that I, that I recorded, it was, I mean, that happened through a span of about two years. Um, so I think it, it, the final tracks that we, that we came to, that, that were the final uh, tracks on the album, were basically a representation of where I was in my life at the time. So I think some of the earlier songs didn't really work because it didn't really capture exactly what I wanted people to hear from me at the point in time, you know what I mean? So that's why I kind of whittled it down. And, and also, you know, recording that many songs, it's, it's about getting the process right. So it's a long sort of stretched out journey, but I think the closer I got to the album, the better and more comfortable I was, you know, in the artist space and recording. So I think that's why recording that many songs and whittling it down to the album was important. And it was, it was a tough process, but I I think at the end it was a lot easier because I think I was in a certain point in my life and that's the story that I wanted to tell. And so to wrap it up, what's next and where can people get your album? Um, what's next is, I mean, Pegasus is out. People should get the album Pegasus. I think it's a really important album. Um, I'm really proud of the work that I did on the album. Um, still um, going to be doing, I'm doing a lot of press for the album, um, promo stuff, and I'm doing some other production stuff um, with other artists during the course of this year. A few artists that I think will unravel um, during the course of this year. I can't really say exactly who it is, but I think it'll unravel um, during the course of this year and next year, actually, I've been doing some production stuff, so quite excited about that. Books, you are a phenomenal talent. Tell Thank you, you so any much. single artist who's produced by you is very, very lucky. Thanks for <laughs> Thank making the so time to come Appreciate on the show this morning. Uh, that is, of course, the books is talking to us about his latest project. Time for us to actually take a quick break. The Western Cape needs national government to fulfill its mandate on ensuring the bulk water supply. We must ensure that the city of Cape Town never confronts this particular situation again.
The ESCOM is serious about stamping out corruption, which is why uh, the market is now beginning to, to accommodate us. Looking at uh, neighboring countries, expecting uh, Botswana just to see partly cloudy skies with a half 34 in Khaboroni. News today at 3 p.m. from Monday to Friday on SABC News. for the day for SAP2 and we link over to books books take it away